Hi everyone, Stark Jedi Planes here, and this is my button. We click the button, we get a point. We click it again, we get another point. And if we keep clicking, we're going to eventually get to 20 points up the top there, and we get our first upgrade. I don't have any random abilities, so there's no point in taking that one just yet. Uh, we'll take some idle button clicks, so I can just wait and in a second it will click for me. There we go. And then we can keep clicking, get to 31, which will be our next upgrade. And hopefully we get something better than just some idle clicks. We can take more points, so now we get two per click. Which is quite nice. I don't know why idle clicks are there too as well. That's fine. And our next upgrade, let's go more points. If we can just get more more points, then we should be good to go. But of course, we're not going to be alone very soon. When we uh, keep clicking to a certain point and we start getting weapons, oh, I've unlocked the skin. Uh, we start getting weapons, which means we're going to start getting enemies. And then it starts to get really fun. So on this one here. Uh, let's go critical clicks to two percent chance but eventually we get one there you see we're clicking enough anyway we might as well get it all right uh, a broken uzi so in this case here assassin button starts sporting i'm going to leave that for just a minute i'm going to take the idle button clicks that gun was uncontrollable so it will just point wherever it needs to go um or point in random directions i cannot remember which one it does uh, let's take the pistol though. Right, beware, the button can now die. You choose a gun ability for the first time, this means the, gun, uh, the button gets a health bar and enemies start attacking. Points are rewarded for defeating enemies. The amount of points gained, enemy health, enemy damage output, and enemy spawn time is based on how powerful the button becomes. In other words, every ability will increase the difficulty and amount of points gained per enemy kill. So now, we get things we need to kill. So I can click anywhere on the screen. So I'm going to be clicking towards the enemies. Okay, Ooh, an arena plus bullet bounce. That's actually a really nice one. Uh, creates an arena all around, bullets now bounce. So, uh, I think that's actually worded correctly. Creates an arena all around, and bullets now bounce. Zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. So we're going to take that one, we can zoom out a little bit. And there we go. There we go, and if I shoot the edge, bullets bounce, and I can do some funky things with it. This is a really nice first uh, or early upgrade to get. We'll take uh, another upgrade for the pistol, makes more damage. Keep going until we get to the next level, which is basically my life now. Excuse me, thank you. Uh, tiny spikes or a broken Uzi. Now we can take the uh, the broken Uzi, so shoots in a random direction every five button clicks. So. Just leave it. We've got that second Uzi down there. <laughs> the achievement for it says, not reliable. Wonderful. That's just what I want to hear. They we seem to dodge. Of course, the bullets are going to be bouncing around and hitting random things because the arena is very handy for us. Uh, more points. We'll take more points. I've got to be careful with my health because I'm going to be getting hit at some point. Enemies are close to me in certain locations. And I've only got 100 health. Um, spinning knives. Every eight button clicks will spawn a knife that rotates around the button. Uh, maybe later. We'll take the uh, magic book there. We get an upgrade for various different things. I think that was points. Maybe something else as well. Oh, I see you there. Go away. Uh, a larger arena spawns further away. Do I want to do that? I think I do. We'll take that. Do with another weapon to be honest of course more weapons means more danger uh, an orb or a hammer oh my word oh it's not as much as the hammer seems interesting with its legendary ability there uh i think i'm going to take the orb an auto controlled gun every five button clicks shoots a fast bullet that targets a random enemy i'm a cs player or i used to be a long time ago uh, almost always hits okay go away you we have a very large enemy down now He's dead. Another one over there too. Orp's not quite as loud as I thought it was going to be. Let's upgrade the pistol. That's the weapon I can control, so. Uzi bullets are going all over the place. I don't know what those guys are actually doing, or if they shoot or... Um, let's upgrade the Uzi. Bit of bullet speed on there is uh, not bad for it. The arena is getting a little cluttered from all the stuff that's dying around. Maybe that's okay. I just need to keep clicking and keep killing things. More points. Let's go. Now 38 a click, which is nice. But of course, our get, uh, aim to get level ups there is getting further and further away as well. 
Uh, a big heart. Right, so that's more health, but we'll take the upgrade five random abilities. That was loads. Thank you very much. Ah, we are going to get shot. That's not good. We have got a bit of health regen, which is nice. I could do with a bit more, I think, though. Ooh, we'll take upgrade five random abilities again. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you very much. So, is there a way I can see my abilities? Yeah, in my current run here. Um, yeah, so we've got a bit of regen there and obviously our other stuff as well. We've got non-upgradable abilities as well that we've potentially got the chance to get, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, let's take the crossbow. Every four button click shoots a bu bullet in the aim, sorry, bolt in the right aim direction. So it follows my pistol, which is nice. Old, powerful weapon. I like it. Does it bounce off the edge? It does not. It's not quite as good as my gun then. Um, we will upgrade the orb, I think. No, more points. More points is more levels, of course, so worth taking that. Bit of a shame that the crossbow doesn't bounce, but I don't mind that. Let's upgrade the orb. Your crossbow is quite tough, though. And, of course, getting points for every killed enemy. We'll take crossbow plus. I'd love some sort of damage over time. That would be really nice. In the meantime, we've just got to keep going, keep killing. Broken Uzi plus. More points. There's only plus two. So we take the Broken Uzi for much more damage. Like a bleed or something. Give me a saw blade that I can shoot around. That'd be nice. Make that bounce off the edge of the arena. <laughs> uh, I mean, spinning knives, they rotate around the butter. They don't rotate anywhere else. Uh, we'll just take the uh, random button clicks. It's fine. Not idle, random idle. That's the word I was looking for. No enemies to shoot. What's going on? Right. Oh, saw blade. I did say saw blade. Saw blade will rotate around the button at a fast pace. Oh. I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. It's not what I wanted. Does it deflect bullets, maybe? Doesn't seem to. We get Broken Uzi again. Let's do that. Game's decided it doesn't want to give me any more button upgrades, as in points or anything, but we'll keep going. Go away, you. I saw you. We're doing 290 odd a hit at the moment, which is really nice. Uh, let's go for the critical clicks. 300 odd a click now for a critical, which is nice. Just got to aim in the right places. We are level 30 now. We've got another skin. Um. A small shield wouldn't be too bad. Two small shields will rotate around a button blocking enemy bullets. Yeah, we'll take that. I was hoping it'd be more like, uh, rather than the old bulwark style shields, more like laser shields or something. But it's fine. Oh, they've got a health bar as well. So do they come back after a while if they go? Hopefully we'll never find out. Triple Deagle. Deagle shoots three bullets every three button clicks. The Deagle targets the closest enemy. Oh, nice. Heavy shot button starts spawning. Okay, then. That's a heavy shot. I don't mind that triple deagle. That sounds quite good. It's got a little meaty little sound to it as well, which I quite like. Uh, we'll upgrade the triple deagle as well. Do you know what? Actually, the recharge time for the small shield is probably good. No, we're going to take some more damage for the deagle, I think. It's the sensible option. When do I ever do anything that's sensible? See you down there. Loads of enemies. Getting a little bit overwhelmed now. Uh, hmm. Adds another shield. We will take it. I've got three shields now. They're not. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping they'd be spread evenly, but they're not. The deagle's really nice. I wonder if I can get a good upgrade for that. What's that? Boxing glove. Uh, every 11 button clicks will punch. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a punch. A close enemy with a boxing glove. Oh, we'll take it. I mean, I don't know if they're going to get it that close, but. Could be handy. We are still mincing through these enemies, which is really nice. Let's go. Next level. Tiny spikes? No. I'm going to take more triple deagle, I think. I wonder if there's a way to get like a second gun. That would be really nice. Okay. We haven't lost one of the shields yet, I don't think. So that's good. 
crossbow is still doing massive damage. I could do with an upgrade for it, though. Oh, a dice roll. What's this? You now get plus one reroll every 190 button clicks. Rerolling will give you a set of new abilities to choose from. Nice. So it's just a reroll for my abilities, which is quite cool. Level ups are taking a lot longer to get now, so I do need to get some more points upgrades. I mean, the amount of enemies we're getting anyway is quite nice. Um, so let's use this reroll then. I regret everything. Uh, let's go for the pistol, just get some more damage on that. Missed him. There we go. I think the arena is the main thing that's saving us here, which is really nice. Very glad I got that early on. Big dude over there. And more triple deagle? Or no, idle button clicks, I think. Oh, no, we'll go triple deagle. More damage is more points, so it evens out. Big dude spawning here. I haven't seen any uh, magicians books recently. Wonder if we get some more of them soon. Um, they're all pretty poor. Let's go for the orb. It's the only thing I really care about there. dude over here let's grab him he gives me 1500 which isn't much in the grand scheme of things now i was starting off with one point and now i'm getting 1500 and it's like yeah i need more and as if the game is hearing me we get more points so that means more per kill as well which is nice so for him we get 1700 now again still not bad could do with more though always more I'm clicking very much here. I'm afraid I'm going to break my mouse. Um, let's do a re-roll on that. Spinning knives or the broken Uzi. We'll take the broken Uzi because we haven't upgraded that in a while. These big dudes need to die very quickly. 1900 on that one, though. That triple deagle plus there is nice. We'll take that. Uh, keep an eye on all sides of the, be the button. <laughs> Just saw that boxing glove punch the dude in the wall. That was quite amusing. Oh, a magic book. There we go. We take the magic book and we get yeah, boxing glove and luck by the looks of it. Or critical luck, critical chance. We go into my current run. Critical clicks. Yeah, that's fine. Starting to lose track of where everything is and where everything needs to die. Because I've got so many automatically killing or shooting weapons, we're doing right. A bouncy shield. That's the sort of shield I was looking for before. Um, buttons get a quarter of the shield. Okay, enemy bullets will bounce back at the enemies. Yeah, well, cool. That's what I wanted. So now I do have four shields. Not quite the way I was going to uh, ask him for it, but it'll do. Come on, hit them. There we go. Almost at the next level again, level 45. Charged bullets. Hold down the button to charge it. Release to shoot 12 charged bullets around the button. That could be nice. I'll take it. I'm not going to do it for the moment, but let's test it against this guy here. Oh, I like it. That is very nice. Have less control over it, and it does actually very little damage, but maybe get some upgrades for it. Okay, um, the triple deagle could be good, but we're going to take the big heart. So there'll be hearts that spawn occasionally that I can shoot, I guess, because I can't move over them. Where is it? I heard it. Maybe I'll just get it. Right, uh, more points. Definitely more points. Yeah, I shot your bullet back at you, didn't I? There's a lot of things here. He's taken a lot of bullets to kill. More points. I do need weapon upgrades, though. Yeah, they really don't do much damage, do they? <laughs> Maybe we'll get an upgrade and it'll make it worth it. In the meantime, it's not worth it. 
Okay, larger arena? No, I don't think so. Take the big heart. Oh, we, we just get it. Okay, I guess we do have to shoot it, but I've got things which are also shooting, so there's so much stuff to kill. Crossbow plus, more damage. It is one of my largest dealers at the moment of damage, so... Still roughly at max health, but I am taking damage here and there. Uh, there's some regen. We'll take the... Um, let's improve the small shield. There's a lot of enemies over this way, and down here, and over here, and everywhere. Everything wants to kill me. Right, uh, let's do the crossbow again. Come on, there we go. Right, the hammer. Let's take the hammer this time then. Oh, it just swings around me. Oh, that's disappointing for a legendary. Again, it's one of those ones that may be better if I could move. Or if the enemies were faster, maybe. Maybe that's something that's going to happen later. Um, mm, so I don't really care about the tiny spikes. Let's, let's take more points. Yeah, that's the most important thing at the moment. More points, more levels. Okay, we are near the, at the next level. Boxing Glove Plus. Oh, they're all rubbish. Let's re-roll those. Broken Uzi, Triple Deagle Plus. Let's re-roll. Re-roll. One more time. Wow. Okay. One more time. I'll take an AWP. That's fine. Quite disappointed with those upgrades. Game needs to level up. As well as... Oh, heck. There's loads of stuff down here. Hang on. Right. Oh, the Pistol Plus could be good. Broken Uzi Plus. So many things to kill. Right, uh, let's go more points. Again, more points, more level ups. More level ups, we do better. Have some of that. <laughs> It'd be nice if something happened with those, but they're a bit weak at the moment. Maybe I'll get an upgrade. Yeah, never know. Let's upgrade two random abilities. We get health and a crossbow, that's good. There's too many enemies, I'm starting to die. What is that? You can now freely control the button. Right, so now I've got Wazda. I can move, I can avoid the bullets some sort, sort of. The hammer becomes a little bit more useful, although the range is quite small. We're at level 60, which is good. Let's take the boxing glove. Uh, I've got to remember I can move and control where I'm shooting. There's two things that I need to pay, pay attention to. Something I was always terrible at. <laughs> a point drop. Enemies will now drop points when defeated. Points are worth 200% of a button click. Yes. So I just need to kind of walk around and hit people. I'll be like a football fan in the 80s. Right, come on, let's go. That joke is going to mention about uh, or trigger about three people in the chat. Right, point drop. There we go. Let's go. Those button drops, uh, or point drops rather, are quite nice. I need more automated weaponry. Broken Uzi, there we go. That's just if, uh, what I asked for. I need... I could do with those stabby spikes now. Because I can just run into people. Spinning knives. Let's do that. I have little tiny knives. I've clicked 5,000 times. My fingers hurt. Okay, we get... I mean, the Shield Plus is probably the best one there. If I sit in a corner, I'm guessing things won't spawn on me. But then I also won't be able to kill everything.
Right, point drop plus, let's go. Maybe a bit of a, a magnet ability or something would be nice. I could pick up range, there's so many bullets, and I'm dead. Okay, let's see what we're going to leave that first run there, though. If we go back to the main menu, just to show you. This is it, we've got the settings and we've got some skins, which we have unlocked some more things. I get uh, that one because I got uh, the guy who gave me the key for this, very kindly, uh, also gave me the DLC. So I don't know what the DLC gives me. I think it is literally just a golden button. Uh, that's the first one you get, so then you get the uh, basic yellow button, the basic purple button, and then we've got the moon button, wooden button, rock button, and a few other bits and pieces as well. But there's also some backgrounds and various things you can unlock. Oh, we've got the, uh, the cell based one, I quite like that one. So there we go. Join me for another run, uh, run on Just Click the Button in another video. I'll see you later.